Hello. So I will continue to empty these tubes. I have not yet. Oh, sorry. Earlier on, I will tell the story again. I was at the World of Commodore, and on the deal table, there was somebody who had a whole bunch of these things they were just giving away. I don't know what these things are. Ah, but the tubes are good. So I have to search and see what these things are to see if they would be of any help to anybody. Now this one is funny. This one is different. But I don't know what these are. So, anyway, why did I get these tubes? To put chips in. Uh, glasses. This, I have no clue what this is, and this, just looking at it, well the pins are kind of bent, it looks because it has a little, oops, it has a thing over it, it looks like it's an EEPROM of some sort. So you know what, I'm just going to put them in the bag with the other things and keep things safe. So this is a bunch of things. This for this thing appeared to be like a whole chip set for a Commodore 60. Oh there's a bunch of chips up there. That's what I right. Here's oh yeah 6526, 6526 I am thinking that what I want to do is put some of these ships in here for safekeeping. For example, oh, don't drop things, don't drop things. By the way, this game is minor 2049er or something of that nature. So, I'm going to put some of the more precious chips into the tubes. These that are going in right now are the chips. And these, from what I know, are PLA chips. But see, some of the first PLA chips were not really marked as they later were. Like this one here. It says 64. C64, was the C64A, and has those things. I think maybe that was before Commodore stole, oh no, sorry, didn't steal, reverse engineered the PLA chip. Uh, I think they got them from somebody else. And then they started making them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So these are ROMs and 6510s. Up here is another. SID chip I was just testing. So I'll put that in the sacred tube. And what else? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So many chips, so little time. I think I'm going to leave this one, this set all together. And Yeah, I like that game. 
Um, well, I'm not going to be able to fit all the 65 10 chips, but uh, all chips that I can put in these are better. And maybe I can find a better way to keep the ones on the, the anti-static foam safe. Perhaps I can. So, regardless, anything I'm going to send anywhere, it will be tested. It will be burned in. Does that fit? Not really. Not really. Well, it's okay. It doesn't have to be full, 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 full. So it just keeps them safe and tidy. It does. So once again, with this uh, coronavirus, and it seems that it's funny how one guy in the NBA got the virus, and I think it suddenly did wake up the North American continent that, wow, you know what, anybody can get this. And uh, so then suddenly sports people, it, it's almost like somebody had to be first. And the NBA was. And now, of course, everyone else seems to have followed. It does. Which, it's good. You know what? If everybody closes down and nobody's moving around, it should help. It should. Despite what some of the people say, won't matter, won't matter. Yeah, I think it will. Because you know what? If I'm not out somewhere, I can't be sneezed on or coughed on or touch something at, you know, somewhere. Okay. So, what other things? Oh, yeah. We'll put the extra video chip in there, and then another Will this fit? Yes, it will fit. Now I dropped the little thing that keeps them all in. I will pick that up when I find it. Um, this one has a beautiful tape job on the end. So you know what? I think I'm not going to put the ROMs in there. I think I'll do some 65, 26 chips. This is the last tube I have, and that's that. Um, yeah, so, coronavirus. Good time to play with your 64, or your Big 20, or even your Plus 4, or your Amiga, or your Pet. It is. And, as always, it's a good time to keep chips safe. I have been off the air a little bit. Things have been busy, and um, I must say I've not been feeling really. Not been feeling terrible. Like I, not like I have any fever. I'm not whatever. I've just been feeling kind of tired, and things have been busy, and you know, life happens. All right. I feel better that these chips, at least some of them, are safer than they were. And I will work on keeping the rest of them safe and secure. And I will need to test more. 
because I said there have been people who have been contacting me who I guess some of them do kind of what I do and they have machines and they don't have no chips. So um yes I'm just gonna touch whoa yes sir eat is the enemy. There is. Boy, that, wow, well, yeah, things are. This has been on for a bit with this cartridge. And everything is pretty hot. I have seen these uh, heat sink things you can stick on the chips. I haven't got any, but I've seen them. And I must say, I'm suspecting they are probably a good thing. Because, as Bill Hurd says, and that's Bill with one L, not two, heat is the enemy. And it is. It is indeed. For these fine, old, glorious machines. Woo, that is hot, yes. That is. It's funny, the ram. The ram doesn't feel bad. And other things don't feel bad. But the main chips, they're not bad. They're just, they're hot. So, I soon, uh, as I said, I need to figure out things about chips. And uh, I think I might need to shoot some pictures of some chips. But I don't have everything right here to do it. So, I won't do it yet. But it is good to know kind of what I've got in terms of 6526 chips, ROM chips, 6510 chips, SID chips, PLA chips, and video chips of all things. It seems, of course, if I look into this box of bad things, um, not surprisingly, um, the most common failure is the PLA chip. Oh, you know what else? Before I forget. Uh, uh, I was testing some machines the other day. And here are more bad chips. I had three machines that I... Once again, I try not to get things, but sometimes I can't help myself. Um, anyway, there were three of them. And... Uh, they started off all dead, and and uh, one had one bad chip, and one had one bad chip, and another had two bad chips, and now they're all working. So life is good. <sighs> yes, life is good. All right, so I need to continue to uh, sort out chips and tinker and uh, test things. And what else? Oh, document things, or I know what's what. I know there's a 60 core around here, one of the three. I've got to find a new pad to write on to mark things. And I will put all these fine ROM chips and 6526 chips and other things carefully in a pile. Behind the monitor here. Let's go. Look, we could, we could do better than that. Hang on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ah. Uh, all right. So. Be careful out there. Wash your hands. Play with your 64. And until we meet again, keep your stick on the ice and stay on the right side of the turf. Bye for now.
Hello. Thanks for coming. This is a quick, quick video. Which one, you know, with all this corona talk, and virus talk, and death talk, and sickness, um, people keep going on about, oh, what an inconvenience it is to wash your hands. And for all of 20 seconds, 20 seconds. So, if you're sort of in a high-risk category, do you want to live for another 20 years, or do you want to spend 20 seconds washing your hands? And I heard something on the news that was actually quite helpful, and that is, um, first of all, soap and water is still the best. Hand sanitizer, if you're not at home and you don't have a sink, yeah, it's good. But soap and water is the best thing, and uh, whatever soap, whatever water, I often use dishwashing soap, because it's convenient. Um, but still, you know, soap, water, soap, water. And then vigorously rub your hands together. And they, from what they say, also, for 20 seconds, a good way to figure out what 20 seconds is, is to sing Happy Birthday twice. So, and you know, if you do this, and you wash your hands, and you get the virus, or sorry, if you don't get the virus, um, chances are you'll be able to be there when they sing your next birthday, at your next birthday party. Uh, not that this is killing everybody, but, you know, there are people with underlying conditions that if they get it, it's really not going to go well. So, watch this. So, suppose I had so. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear whoever you are. Happy birthday to you. Now, do it again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to... Happy you are. Happy birthday to you. The other thing I would say, is not a bad thing, which I haven't heard people mention, is in the midst of that, if you have a fingernail brush, use it. Because it's funny, you know, you see all the crime shows, and they say, well, let's see what's under the fingernails. Um, so, soap, water, if you have one fingernail brush, if you have an old toothbrush you're not using anymore, make sure you don't mix it up. Just go under your fingernails. Don't, don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. And if you think there's anything at all, any reason, you know, use hand sanitizer. Don't spend $500 on a bottle of hand sanitizer. Soap and water. Be careful out there. Maybe, you know, they say the, uh, the masks don't really do anything. If you, if you don't have it, it really doesn't help. Um, if you're really concerned, maybe wear gloves. It is winter. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. Anyway, so, wash your hands. Soap and water. 20 seconds. Happy birthday. And use a nail brush. And when you're in the home seclusion or self uh, I'm not hibernation. Um, my brain did go. But anyway, when you're sitting at home, great time to take out your Commodore 64 and play games, or fix things, or tinker, or experiment, or unsoldered chips. Boy, you know, if I was under self self quarantine, if I was under self quarantine. That would be a great time for me to take out my desoldering iron and start sucking away at all the circuit boards I have that I would say are in intensive care or need intensive care. I would much rather work on such boards than end up in intensive care. I would. Anyway, I hope you have a lovely day and I hope everyone is around for their next birthday. And that all the efforts of the world right now uh, can get this virus under control. And uh, like the common flu thing, which is still not a good thing, but it's around. Um, that's the one we take the flu shot for. Once the weather gets warmer, it kind of goes away. So I'm hoping this one will too. But will it? Who knows? So, enough. 
Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. And a fingernail brush. And stay tuned. Bye for now. Dirt under there. Dirt. Dirt. I need to go find my fingernail brush. Bye for now.